All right, welcome everyone. Um, this is Tennis Bargains, and today we're going to show how uh, people can register for tennis tournaments. It's spring already, and uh, some of you are excited about playing tennis, and so today we're going to show you how to uh, register on the USTA site and um, sign up for singles or doubles or adults or juniors. Um, so first thing we'll do is we'll go to the URL tennislink.usta.com and this will bring you to the USTA uh, Tennis Link site. What you do is you scroll down <coughs> to Tournaments and then click on the Register button. Now we're going to show you some tips on how to find the tournament that uh, probably best suits your game and uh, being your first tournament I would recommend uh, something within your skill level, your NTRP. So from this location what I recommend is actually going to Tournaments Advanced Search. You can see right here. So basically uh, this is the Advanced Search. Uh, you'll see um, you can do a specific search on the zip code, tournament ID, or keyword. That's if you know the specific tournament you're looking for. Uh, for example, I know uh, Shiloh is one that comes up every year. So if I search for that keyword, it brings me directly to that tournament. <coughs> now if you have not played um, in any tournaments before, um, one suggestion I would make is uh, find a tournament that's fairly close by. So <coughs> for first example, we'll look for, uh, for example, an adult tournament. Um, and the month will be April. And we'll just put in a zip code here. So we want to find something nearby, let's say within 50 miles. We'll find a USTA sanctioned one. Now, USTA sanctioned is important because um, it'll follow all the USTA rules, and also it will provide USTA rankings. So as you can read here uh, in letter B, um, this is what I recommend. If you play a non-sanctioned one, it might be cheaper. It might be run by some local um, players. and it might just be for fun, that's fine, uh, but if you're looking for ranking points, if you're looking to build up uh, your ranking for next year, for your rating, so whether you're a 3.0, 3.5, 4.0, 4.5, you can get a specific um, NTRP rating, and we'll go over that a little bit later. But again, uh, sanctioned is the ones I would kind of look for. Um, they have the shortcut button. You can look for things that are currently registering. That means they have started already, it's not locked. Um, things that are in progress or completed, that would mean that they're over, so you can't really join them. For our purposes, we'll say still registering. Now these next couple fields are kind of important. Um, these kind of narrow down the area um, where you're looking for. I would uh, look for something in your section. Now section means um, where you're playing Eastern, Florida, um, Mid-Atlantic, which is the one I'm in, which is Washington, D.C., Maryland, West Virginia, Virginia, um, or whatever you know section of the country you're from. There's a map for this. Uh, you can look it up. And basically, uh, you can narrow it down by just your region, which is the Mid-Atlantic section, they call it. Or you, if you want to be more specific, you want to play inside your state, you can play Mid-Atlantic, Virginia, which is my, my district. Now, um, a lot of the places around here are fairly close by, D.C., Virginia, Maryland tournaments near the Beltway. I search for Mid-Atlantic, so um, the next section is divisions. Um, for your first tournament, I would recommend uh, you can narrow it down by singles or doubles, whatever um, specialty you, you play at, or if you want something more specific in your uh, skill group, try NTRP divisions, so there you'd be categorized by um, 3-0, 3-5, um, and that usually gets you uh, a comfortable range. Uh, if you're registering for your son or daughter, you can try the junior singles at different age groups. Uh, same thing for the girls. And um, if you're a really strong player, um, this is going into the open section. The adult singles, men's opens, that's kind of free-for-all. Anyone at any group at any skill level can join. Um, usually you get pretty good strong players, 4 or 5 or above. Um, same thing with the age categories, they're open to anyone uh, at this age or above. 
So um, someone who's, say, 30, 31 can join the men's 30 and up, which uh, pretty much is uh, like at an open level um, skill level. So again, uh, to start out with, let's try the NTRP divisions, and we'll look for search. The other categories basically will give you um, different levels of tournaments and then surfaces, but those kind of filter down a little bit too far, so I generally recommend you try to narrow it down up to about division, and then that'll give you about uh, five or ten or so tournaments. So here we have the results. Um, so one, the, the tournaments that are listed in red for the entry closing time means it's going to close within, uh, I think, 24 hours, 48 hours, something like that.